OpenStreetMap is the uh, equivalent of uh, Wikipedia for maps. Anybody can edit it, and uh, that usually scares the heck out of everybody uh, because you suddenly realise that we could put a motorway through George Square and ruin Brad Pitt's zombie film. But uh, So um, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to introduce you to OpenStreetMap. And uh, here it is. Looks very much uh, like Google Maps. And uh, what I'm going to start off with, this is all, all done by volunteers. It is uh, created by uh, using either tracing uh, satellite imagery or people traveling around with handheld GPS devices. And uh, I'm going to do it, show you some bits in Edinburgh here, because I know Edinburgh a little bit better than, uh, than Glasgow. But uh, we've actually managed to complete Edinburgh. We've compared it against the council uh, street name uh, list. So we actually know that it's actually more accurate than the Ordnance Survey map, because they've got the Ordnance Survey data street names are about they've got about 5% things, 5% of the names wrong, so they're um, it's all typos and things like that. But we go into, uh, from just roads into uh, some reasonable detail. Here we're going into Edinburgh Zoo, which we did here, and you can see the names of all the different animals that are in the cages. Or if we go say over here, this is one of the hospitals which we got uh, information from the National Health Service. So we wanted to, in Edinburgh, we wanted to be able to start collecting the National Health, uh, the places where the National Health data is because the National Health Service itself hasn't got something like this. So we can, we can help with that. We could also, if you were a golf enthusiast, you can find out the names of all holes in golf courses. And this one over here is Edinburgh University. Although I know that if uh, we really need to talk to Tim, who's over here, who's did the Herrick Watt University. So we've got to make sure that gets shown. Um, we go, we've actually got up, this, the interesting thing about it is uh, the detail that we can go to. Now, the most detailed maps that you can get is the Ordnance Survey Master Map. And if we actually start looking in places at Edinburgh, there's a place where you're actually starting to add in all the buildings and all the, uh, the walls like, uh, and the areas around those buildings. Uh, and including, I can get some here, this guy's put in walls and hedges. So that's the, the kind of <laughs> detail that we can get to. Uh, I actually know the guy who does this and he's, uh, I remember him doing part of the zoo and he was, the zoo wardens were kind of looking at him very strangely because he was taking photographs of all the park benches in the zoo and they were wondering why on earth he was doing that. But uh, then again, they didn't see the, they might not have seen the map afterwards. All right, so the, uh, but, uh, what I'm going to, since the, the group here is mainly interested in how to develop it, I'm just going to go out to a place which has got quite so much data in it. So I'm going to zoom in on this particular area. And we're going to look what we're seeing here is a rendering of a database, a rendering of the data. And so we might as well have a quick look at what the data actually looks like. So I'm going to go to the export tab. <coughs> this is small. So we've got Preston Street, Loaded Street, Preston Hall Road. I'm just going to export that. And I'm going to, instead of exporting it as a I'm going to export it as the XML data. It'll tell me where I'm going to 
save it to, I'll just save it to the desktop. And it will be called map OSM. So I've just, op I've just opened it up. And so we're actually looking at the, the data. Let's see if I can find a little tag. And these, all these things that you hear are called nodes. And there's the latitude and longitudes of the nodes. And then if we go a little bit further, we'll see let's go down to this one. What we've got is the latitude and longitude. Uh, what it, then we've got a couple of tags here which is we associate with either those nodes or we have ways which are selection of the nodes or areas. So there's only three there's only four types of data that we ever use in OpenStreetMap. One's nodes, dots, uh, points, ways which are lines connected to nodes, uh, areas which are things like a building or uh, more complicated things called multi-polygons which are areas within areas. But that's it. I mean, the, although this, I, I mean, we're looking at the raw data here so it might look a little bit uh, more confusing. Uh, Central America up here, that's my uh, ID, so I must have edited this particular bit. And we can see the, some of the tags here, highway, name, where the, <coughs> where the data comes from, uh, and then we're moving on to another, another piece of data. So that's the raw data. And the, if you're wanting to find out a little bit more about uh, the, the data types and stuff like that, I recommend that you go to um, YouTube and if you put into YouTube OpenStreetMap Basics then just very recently, there's been these uh, little kind of sketches. I don't know, has, has anybody heard of Khan Academy? Yeah. Uh, Khan Academy, well, I I'd re recommend you see K-H-A-N Academy. It's 15-minute uh, lectures, uh, which is bundled up in an education system. Uh, it's mainly for schools, but they've taken that idea and these short 15-minute, uh, 10-minute videos will explain everything about the data uh, in a lot more detail than I can uh, talk about this morning. So if you wanted to go back and uh, see what I'm talking about, about nodes and ways and things like that, or how we're actually naming it, or they, they, they go into a lot more detail than I can go into today. But what we do at OpenStreetMap is we have to associate this data with tags and so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at tags now I'm back to the main OpenStreetMap site go to documentation and this is the OpenStreetMap wiki and I'm going to go to map features and this is a very useful page to get to know the uh, all the different things that ways that we can tag things. I'm just going to go down quickly through the list. Uh, so if you're one, so we, if we have a, a way, which is a connection of nodes, uh, here's motorways, trunks, secondary links, tertiary, and these, these are the tags that, uh, that we're using. It goes down to cycleways and footways and all, a lot of the road stuff uh, many roundabouts, traffic lights, uh, crossings, but it also goes into uh, uh, where we here we see the, the walls <coughs> and the hedges that we saw earlier on. There's categories. When you're actually looking at the main uh, OpenStreetMap site, you don't get to see a lot of these things because the main uh, OpenStreetMap. Uh, map is rendered so that uh, it only shows particular things. So there might be a lot of data that's underneath there that um, you don't get to immediately see. If I go back 
to oops. But this map features is, is uh, very a very important start to understand the types of tags that are available to you. If I go back to the OpenStreetMap, as I said, we're just looking at a database. Uh, the interesting thing about this is visualizing this database. It kind of makes me think about what other databases we could actually visualize. So you can, if you take it to an extreme, we could actually take it to, we could show the geography of a company uh, or a government in the way that the money travels around, which uh, jobs are make a building or a company happy. This might sound a little bit strange, but if you've got a, a big a uh, company with 26 floors in a great big building, then the people that uh, would probably make the that building happy would probably be the people that cleaned the toilets, because if they weren't there, you know, it would be very unhappy. You could actually show that in a graphical form. Back to OpenStreetMap, I'm going to click on this little plus at the side, and it's, we've got a choice here of which, how we're rendering the data, and I'm gonna go to so choose cycle map and cycle map uses exactly the same data uh, but it adds in uh, topographical information and what the cyclists really are interested in which is the cycle paths uh, the pubs and the toilets and the uh, and the where the shops are but it's a very being able to re-render this data in, uh, in a different way. That's where the power really starts to uh, um, benefit. If we went to uh, using the, the same data, we can actually look at things like this is open wheel map, which originates in Germany. But this is a map for wheelchair users. We don't have much data in Edinburgh at the moment, but uh, wheelchair access. So we could be using that one. Or foragers map. So if you ever want to go and try and find what plants are available for you to eat as you're wandering around places, then the this group has been marking where you can get wild strawberries and pears and all sorts of fungi and stuff like that. So if, if you were a forager like that.